Hey folks, it's Ken. It's Thursday. Happy Thursday to you guys out there. I can't wait to start this weekend. Tomorrow's going to be a fun day in my classroom, a fun STEM day, so look forward to some cool videos on our activities in our classroom, but that's for tomorrow. Tonight's focus is here at Publix. Okay, if you're a regular viewer of my channel, I've taken you here, brought you here on many occasions. Papa Murphy's, the pizza place is down there. I've shot a couple videos from the parking lot in this little corner right here. Just the goings on of things here in Oviedo with Bridget and I. But I'm here at Publix not to do any shopping. I'm here to use the scale inside Publix. And the focus of today's video is not so much today. Today's the beginning. However, the end goal is July the 6th of 2015. Here's the plan. Summer is quickly approaching, and July 6th is my birthday. Also kind of marks the pinnacle of summer. Middle of July, early July is the, is the highlight of summer, and I'm so looking forward to summer. I can't wait to do some fun stuff this summer and bring you guys along for some fun adventures. And to do that, I want to get in shape. I gotta tell you, the stress levels of school and family and all that kind of stuff have really gotten to me this year. So I've packed on more than a few pounds than I should have. And I've kind of gotten away from that. So I've tried this weight loss challenge like three times in the year. I began something at the beginning of January for a weight loss challenge and it was a failure. I tried it sometime around spring break and it was a failure. I'm not sure why. Again, I think just life takes hold and stress levels go up and when your stress levels go up you don't feel like working out you don't feel like dieting you don't feel like getting in shape because so many other stresses are beating you down so with summer coming up this is a time to kind of refresh the brain and enjoy a relaxing break most of us who are school teachers we take the summer off or at least we teach here and there but the main stress of summer or the main stresses of the school year in regular year is kind of put on pause, a little pause button is pushed, and we can get a chance to kind of like, again, refresh, relax, enjoy, and re-energize our batteries to begin again, begin anew in August. So my focus of my weight loss is two purposes. Number one, to get in shape, to be less, to be less, way less, to be healthier for my new kids. For those who don't know, I'm going on to first grade with my class. Those who want to go with me, who want to continue the adventure with me, are going to first grade with me. So I want to return in August slimmer and healthier and more just, again, refreshed. And I think dropping some weight would certainly benefit me. What do you guys think? I think we'd all be in agreement here, okay? So the plan for me today is to step inside that Publix right there. You know, we have a scale at home. And it's pretty reliable. However, it's not a community scale. It's my scale. So to keep me accountable, I have two things. Number one, I need you guys out there, okay, to keep me accountable, to keep me motivated, to keep me pushed. How's the weight loss coming, Ken? How's the weight loss coming? Also, because the scale in there is not regulated by me, there's no chance of me cheating or you know, fixing the odds to make it look like I lost weight when it really didn't. So, here's the plan. I'm going to step inside that Publix. I have not weighed myself on this scale ever, so I don't know what it's going to say. And honestly, I haven't weighed myself on any scale in several months, so I don't know what my actual weight is. But whatever it is, I'm going to show you guys right here for the first time. I don't know what it's going to say, and I'm being honest with you. I didn't come up here earlier, weigh myself, and go back there and start the video over again. I promise you, I didn't do that. I'm here for the first time. I'm going to walk in here, weigh myself, show you guys, and we're going to see what it is together. Now, what's the plan? July 6th. Why is that important? It's my birthday. Okay? My birthday is July 6th, and I will be, wait for it, 44 years old. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I'm going to be 44 years old on July 6th of 2015. 44. Where on earth has the time gone? I have no idea. But time flies. That's what happens, right? So, not knowing what I'm going to weigh when I go inside, here's the plan. 
it's 44 by 44. It's okay. 44 by 44. I just paused right there because those people behind me right there who are going into Publix. See, when I'm talking to myself like this, one of the big challenges of doing a daily vlog is I'm talking to myself, but it looks like I'm filming something that's on the other side of me. So they're thinking I'm videoing, you know, they're thinking I'm recording this. Because, you know, the Publix parking lot here in Oviedo was so much fun to record, but instead I'm recording myself. So they walk here and they're like, hey, that guy's recording, we should pause and give him a strange look. Happens a lot, but no worries. Anyway, 44 by 44, that's the plan. Okay, now while I'm walking in here, I want to address one more issue. My last two daily videos weren't very hot. The one I did the day before last, there was no ending, and the one I did yesterday, sadly, the audio was all mixed up with the video, so the program I had on my computer, the application I had on my phone here, where I could merge the, merge the videos together, didn't quite work out. It's always been a problem for me. I've not yet found a technology that lets me do that. So the video and the audio didn't, didn't link up. So I apologize for that. I, I took that application off my phone, so I won't be doing that video service anymore. Okay. From now on out, if I'm doing a phone video like I'm in right now, it's going to be a one-shot, one-take deal without stopping, without merging. However, like tomorrow when I'm in my classroom doing my STEM video stuff, it'll be with my GoPro or I can put it on the program and I can merge it together and edit and do what I need to do. But anyway, let's head inside right now. Take a look at how much yours truly weighs. I'm a little nervous. And I could be a little embarrassed. Let's see. There's our Publix. Okay, there's our scale. Set to zero. Here we go, you ready? According to this, I weigh 224 pounds. 224 pounds, right here, on that scale. Now my plan, like I said, is to lose 44 pounds by the time I turn 44. I'm not a math magician. Of course, you don't need to be a math magician to know how much 44 minus 225 is. But I'm not going to do that right now in my head. I'll do that when I get home. But that's the goal, to take 225. Now, it's not the heaviest I've ever been. Several years ago, I was like 235. I'm almost pushing 240. Then I dropped down to almost 200 pounds. I was nice and thin and lean. And then, like I said, I packed on the weight. And I lost track of uh, my health. So 225 is where I am sitting right now, according to that scale. And that's all right now. And I'm, gonna, I'm only going to use that scale for all of my measuring, all of my weight loss um, tracking, data tracking. So 225. So whatever 225 is, take away 44 pounds. I'm going to be that by the time I turn 44 years old. Now. That's a lot. 44 pounds is a lot. Okay, the point is to be thinner and leaner and healthier and get rid of all this weight that's up here. So that's the plan. So I'm going to thank you guys for tuning in and for watching. I'm going to go home and kind of plan what I'm going to do. Somebody behind me. See, that's what I should be doing. I should be like that guy right there. I love my bicycle. I should be like my bicycle like that guy right there. Right? So, I'm gonna call this video the Independence Day Weight Loss Challenge. Because that's July 4th, so July 6th is my birthday, or should I call it the birthday challenge? Birthday, I like the birthday challenge. The birthday challenge, that's what I'm gonna call it. Birthday challenge, okay? So, thanks for watching and tuning in and all that kind of good stuff. This is kind of a long video. It's like, uh, I don't know, several minutes long. 
But I do thank you guys and appreciate you guys watching. And I look forward to spending the next several months together as I lose weight, become thinner, leaner, healthier for myself, and make a good positive impression. Ooh, Subway. <laughs> a good positive impression for my brand new first graders who are graduating from kindergarten. I'm so proud of them, happy for them. Looking forward to a new great year with them, and I want to start the year out, like I said, with a new look. I might even shave this. I don't know. What do you guys think? All right. Thanks for watching and tuning in, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.